Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and today is a pretty depressing day. The sun isn't out, it's overcast, it might rain, so the lighting might be a little off, but I did a few things in the background to try to make myself look a little bit brighter, you know? And today is gonna be an unlisted video. It's not gonna be part of my uh, playlist, like the mixer or what's the damage or anything. It's just gonna be me talking to you guys straight up, you know? Because I've been doing YouTube for quite a long time, guys, going on almost five years now. And even though I've never achieved a decent level of success, you know, very few few videos of mine got a lot of exposure, I still feel like I have a lot of knowledge about this platform, you know, and I know a lot about how it works. And throughout the years that I've been doing it, I have been asked by many people, be them up and coming YouTubers themselves, or just people who are just curious, how exactly YouTube works, you know? Now, obviously, guys, I am not the best person in the world to talk to about this. I'm not exactly a paid professional, but I have a few insider tips that I think might help some of you who are looking to start a YouTube channel on your own, or even if you're just, you know, curious about how this thing works you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. So I have put together five very useful tips to help you guys sort of, uh, kind of, um, what's the word? Um, begin your journey, you know, on this channel here, on this uh, platform here. Sorry, I, my nose a little stuffy. So um, yeah, <laughs> let's just uh, get right into it, I guess. The very first thing to keep in mind when you make a YouTube channel is to create a theme. Make something that is uniquely yours. There is no problem with gaining inspiration from other channels, you know, people who do things that, that catch your eye and you kind of want to do the same, you know. Just try to, try to be careful not to directly imitate or copy someone else, you know, because that, friends, is called plagiarism, okay? Now, if you guys look at my channel, if you look at my banner, you know, my profile photo and the ways that I edit my videos, you know, the thumbnails, all of them are inspired by other YouTubers, you know. It's, it's a whole mess of things. It's a mixture of different things, you know, the way that I do my gameplays and some of my vlogs and things like that you know and it's always good to have inspiration from multiple sources which is what I do you know so if you're starting a YouTube channel make a theme that is just yours you know it's it's hard to try to make up something that hasn't already uh, been made you know like a lot of things are already existing on this platform you know so take maybe uh, I don't know uh, maybe about three or four channels that you really admire a lot and try to sort of like mix them together with your own theme you know whether you're gonna be a vlogger or a gamer or a channel who does informative things like Watch Mojo, for example, you know, try to have a theme and stick with that theme, you know? If you're gonna do a gaming channel, then make a lot of gaming related um, images like your banner, you know, your profile photo, you know, and try to prioritize making thumbnails very, very gamer-like, you know? If you're gonna do a channel about cooking, you know, then of course, try to make a lot of food, you know, and, and try to uh, put more of the uh, behind the scenes actual techniques to make the food and make the thumbnail related to that you know make a nice little banner that's gonna make people hungry when they go to your channel you know that kind of thing you know so try to find your own theme you know pick your lane and then stay in it you know always try to sort of um, be unique in that aspect the next step use personal branding everybody has their own little brand on YouTube those really uh, big channels that are very successful with millions of subscribers they have their own branding uh, um, what, what can I say their own uh, branches of brands you know for example probably the most famous is PewDiePie who was the most subscribed uh, youtuber uh, on this platform he has his little bros thing you know where he does I don't know if he, it's still a thing I haven't watched his videos in a while but he has his fan base called the bro army and his uh, icon his logo you know his brand is the bro fist you know so he does a little fist bump at the end of his videos you know he used to say stay awesome bros you know that kind of thing so that is kind of his own brand and he He's done a lot of different things you know I think he even made a game called the legend of the bro fist you know so PewDiePie is very good at doing a very simple and effective branding technique you know and there are a lot of different youtubers who use this thing like for example there's a Brazilian youtuber called Felipe Neto who calls his fans corujas which means owls you know I'm not sure why I don't remember where exactly that came from I think it's because he's just a big fan of Harry Potter or something like that you know he even has a tattoo of an owl here on his arm. So that's kind of what this is about, you know? Create your own brand. Create something that's unique to you and try very hard to not copy somebody else directly in this specifically because it's a very quick way to get sued, you know? The branding on my channel, you guys should know, I call you my dudes and my dudettes and my logo is the dude sign and that, that surfers do a lot, you know, when they're doing their cowabunga things, you know? And that's kind of my brand, you know? That's the way that I want to present myself on YouTube, you know? And I have not seen anybody else 
else do it, you know? And dudes and dudettes kind of sounds very American. It's a very like a laid back chill thing, you know? So my fan base is the dudes and the dudettes, you know? If you subscribe, you're already a dude or a dudette if you're a girl, you know? So. And this is kind of like my way of identifying myself with my fans, you know? I wish I was big enough to have fans. I only have about a thousand subscribers and people don't really watch my videos, but still, whether I'm small or big, this is what I'm gonna use on my channel which is something that you guys can explore too, you know? Create your own brand, create something that's unique to you, create a logo or an icon that's something that only you can use, you know? And then later down the road, patent it and start suing people that try to use it, you know, without your permission. The next one applies more if you have uh, any uh, basic knowledge of Photoshop, you know? Make custom thumbnails. Custom thumbnails are a really good way for you to draw attention to your channel on YouTube. You know, they make your videos pop a lot more. And sometimes the thumbnail is even better than the actual video itself, you know. But in an age where so many things are fancy and uh, uh, people draw attention with a lot of different things with designing graphics and all of that, having custom thumbnails is essential. It's an important part of YouTube and you can actually start making them, I think, as soon as you verify your channel, you know. And uh, things from a custom URL as well, but to do a custom URL, you actually need 100 subscribers. You you know and it's very very nice because I think that all you have to do is verify your channel and you can already uh, uh, upload custom thumbnails to your videos you know and tr uh, this should go without saying but try to make the thumbnail have something related to the actual video itself you know you're not gonna do a video talking about I don't know the stock market but then in the thumbnail you put a photo of a koala <laughs> you know you have to actually have something that makes sense you know don't confuse people before they even open your video you know I love editing thumbnails you know sometimes I think that I actually enjoy my thumbnails more than some of my videos themselves, you know, because I love doing it in Photoshop, you know, and I have a degree in informatics and uh, web design, so I know quite a bit about Photoshop, you know, and even though my Photoshop is limited, it's still the CS5 portable, I can still do wonders on it, you know, and I really like making thumbnails for my videos and also my second channel, which I also uh, manage that as well. So always, even if it's not, it doesn't have to be the fanciest thing in the world, guys, but as long as the thumbnail is custom to some degree, you know, it's gonna, even if you just take a photo from Google, tweak it a little bit, make it look a little better, make it pop more, do a few effects here and there, try to make it more uniquely yours, you know, but try to avoid as, as much as you can like uploading videos without thumbnails because thumbnails are essential, you know? Titles, same thing, you know? Create really, really nice titles that can attract people's attentions, you know? Next, we have a tip that should be very obvious, but not a lot of people really take this to heart. Edit your videos. Please, for the love of God, we're in 2020. Do not upload YouTube videos that are completely dry without without any kind of editing at all, like with, with no cuts, you know, no effects, no uh, no uh, captions. You know, guys, you, you have to try to think outside of the box here. You know, now if you you don't have to do like a whole uh, production. Uh, level value thing where you like make a TV show, you know, you, you don't have to do that. You don't need a big budget, you know, you need like minimum Windows Movie Maker to edit your videos, you know. Now try to have, you know, make your own little intro, you know, make something that's unique to you. I have different intro cards for all of my different uh, playlists, you know, uh, the, the mixer, what's the damage, cinema chassis, tele chassis, you know, uh, my top tens. I have a little custom theme for each one of them, you know, a little intro. And I also have an outro, which is something that you guys should explore too, you know. Have a little outro at the end, even if it's just hey thanks for watching subscribe to my channel you know edit your videos make them start well go well and end well you know and don't just leave one huge 10 minute clip without any editing you know you know cut it up a little bit you know make the make everything go a little more smooth you know if you make a mistake and uh, put a little caption correcting it you know if you can if depending on what you're talking about in the video you know put a little photo or a clip or two you know try to make it pop a little bit more you know a little background music which also helps a lot you know it doesn't have, uh, uh, allows the video to be a little more uh, aesthetically pleasing, you know, more, um, how can I say, a little bit more pleasing to the ears, you know, a little background music to subconsciously relax the person who's watching, you know. So put effort and work into editing your videos, you know, don't just upload them dry without any kind of editing at all, you know, because that's really annoying. And in an age where literally you can make millions of, uh, uh, millions of dollars of cash with YouTube, I think it goes without saying that you really should edit your videos a little bit more, you know? So yeah, you know, have your own little uh, uh, um, eye-catching titles, you know? Like, uh, don't just 
write anything for the title, you know, write something that's creative, you know, something that's funny and that's going to want people want to make people want to watch your videos, you know, and even though this is kind of sleazy, so occasionally it's okay to do a clickbait video or two, you know, use a little clickbait title, even I still do that on both of my channels, you know, I'm guilty of it, so yeah, but don't be like the douchey kind of YouTuber who just does clickbait, you know, that really just sucks. The last tip is the most important. Please, for the love of God, connect with your audience, okay? You guys are living in a day and age where, you know, phones and computers and tablets are glued to our souls, you know? We are constantly on these things, you know, talking to our friends and different social networks and all of that, you know? So it really, it's not going to cost you an, ar an arm or a leg to actually interact with your subscribers, you know? If somebody posts a comment on your video, whether it's positive or negative, go and connect with them, you know, talk with them, you know, give them a like, you know, have a little debate. Uh, thank them for subscribing and if they're giving you negative feedback try to take it as you know constructive criticism depending on what they're saying of course because there are a lot of haters out there who just want to criticize for the hell of it you know so it's very important to connect with your audience when you have a channel that reaches 1,000 subscribers you have the feature of uh, creating posts you know which is something that I do too where you can sort of connect with your audience a little better, you know, on a more personal level. So that's a, also a good thing to take into consideration, you know. And whenever somebody comments, I'm actually a little behind on my comments. You know, I have to go back and come and uh, reply to some of the comments on this channel because I've been busy with my other ones. So it's been tough to give attention to both of them. But I'm if I if I accidentally left you hanging on one of my videos, don't worry. I'm gonna go back and reply to you. I swear. Okay, don't even worry about it. And I think that it, the more you connect with your audience, the stronger you can build connections and relationships with your subscribers, you know? And it feels really good when your channel grows and you have somebody who can say, you know, I was there from the start, you know? Somebody who's loyal, you know? Who watches every single one of your videos without fail, who comments on a lot of them, who likes them, you know? I have a few subscribers who are like that, you know? I have one number one subscriber. I'm not gonna say her name because I don't know if she would like me to, but she knows who she is. I actually haven't heard from you in a while, so, you know, if you're still watching my channel, you know who you are, okay? If you're still watching my channel, drop a comment or two letting me know that you're still there you know so always connect with your audience guys you know actually let people know that they uh, you know that they exist you know of course the bigger your channel gets the harder it is to reply to the comments I think that big channels probably don't even bother because they get like you know maybe like tens or hundreds of thousands of comments whenever they post a video you know so that's not really an option for them but you know that's when it's good to have social networks you know twitter instagram you know maybe a facebook page connect with your audience outside of youtube as well you know uh, i think that the the thing that youtubers most enjoy me myself is twitter it's a very good and personal way to connect uh, better with your audience you know people follow you on there and you can talk to them a little bit more directly sometimes about the videos that you upload you know so yeah it's, a, it's very 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 important to stay up to date with your subscribers and that's it guys that's pretty much it that's all i can say i just wanted to probably not a very long video might even be less than 10 minutes long you know but that's okay i don't really mind you know i just wanted to get this video out there to help you guys who are struggling on this platform you know i'm still struggling myself i've been doing this for years you know and i, I there's still a lot for me to learn you know i know quite a quite a bit about monetization and adsense and things like that the analytics i know a lot about this i study it you know in my spare time because i really enjoy learning about youtube but i've yet to put it into practice because my channel still isn't monetized yet you know but who knows in the near future you know so I hope these five basic tips help you guys out, you know, creating your own channel. And if you are an up and coming YouTuber and you follow these tips and you actually put work and effort into your channel, then let me know, you know, uh, maybe I can give you a shout out here on my channel to help you grow a little bit too, you know, that'd be really nice. We could uh, kind of help each other expand more on this platform, you know, and I think that's it. You know, I really hope these tips were useful to you guys and let me know in the comments if you actually followed any of them and if you think that they're useful. Maybe you're, maybe you're an even bigger channel than me and you have a few more things you want to add. Feel free to do so, okay? But that's it for now. This is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.